Oh my god. Oh my god! I can't even reach across this <laughs> So this is going to be a short little video. So I want to throw something together. I, I was thinking about like you know, dude, alright, we're already, I'm already screwing up the video, we're already, I always think you guys are like hanging out with me, I'm screwing up the video already because now I'm like, well, there's all these situations, dude, so I was thinking about like what baits are like my go-tos for like big fish and what I've like caught like the most giants or what I think I've caught the most giants on and like I said like all of a sudden my mind goes like oh well I caught him on a hollow body swim bait or I caught that one on a jig that's great but there's really like three baits that I've caught like freaking mondos on like my like 10 plus and consistent 10 plus not consistent one of them's not like consistent one of them like I just call it like a mondo mondo on but there are three baits three lures that that i've really kind of wrecked bigger fish on let me show them to you real quick first one's gonna be super duper obvious 10 xd any of you guys who watch the videos know like i i've wrecked them a lot of times with the 10 xd and i think that's a couple reasons one it is a big bait dude it's a gigantic crankbait it displaces a lot of water so big fish tend to target it that's not to say i don't catch like two pounders on it but big fish tend to eat this thing it just calls out to them and they come to it the other thing that's kind of unique with this and it's going to be kind of unique with all these baits that i'm going to show you i've caught a lot of big fish on them i think partially because they're reaction baits you know a lot of times those big fish they're either smart or they're lethargic so they're so smart that they're not going to eat that worm drag super duper slow actually sometimes if you drag it super super duper slow they'll eat it but more so like they it's tough to catch like gigundas consistently on that usually you need to trigger them because they're down there looking at the bait and you gotta kind of you know blaze it past them or like deflect off of something or redirect and and that tends to trigger them just doing something like a little bit different with that lure instead of just that slow drag the other bait and this thing i've caught a couple i think i caught one 10 7 10.7 so like basically 10 and a half bullshit dude this is the three ounce version i lost um we're gonna include all the versions because i i have a six inch two that i throw up, a slow sink and i lost one of the biggest fish of my life i didn't know how to fish it dude if you go back and look at the video it's like first time fishing a bull shad lost biggest fish of life so i get like literally picked on in the video trolled out because like i'm an idiot dude <laughs> like in the video i'm like futzing around with my drag i had it on the wrong rod i had it on a flipping stick but these things dude they catch freaking monsters and people don't see them it is a little more pricey of a bait but i think that adds to the kind of allure because they don't see it that much and it has such a cool action on it we were talking about reaction with that 10 xd this thing has that triggering mechanism because it just undulates in the water dude as you're swimming it and you can fish it a little fast you can let it sink back to the bottom you can do a lot with it but it does get big bites and, and we all know like the hard swim bait deal it, it just it works you might not get a ton of bites but in situations where you know you're on a body of water that has some big fish these guys and they don't even have to have shad in them dude like i know this is a bull shad you know mike buco bull shad but dude you can throw this on a lake up north where you don't have like in wisconsin we didn't have like shad on some of the lakes that i fish it was mainly brim and stuff dude throw this thing like they're fish they're not rocket scientists dude they eat like the the action and the water displacements colors yeah help a little bit but it works try it so there's two bites that that i always argue with myself that are like the coolest bites ever you know there's always like flipping and punching but i look at that in a little bit different category this is more of a casting category and one of them is that 10 xd if you guys have ever caught a fish eight pounds or bigger on a 10 xd you know exactly what i'm talking about like literally the whole rod loads up everything stop time stops and it just you wait for the rod to go whoa 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 because then you know you have a giant damn it running into him
Good one. Good one. Don't do it. Oh my God. Get bog. It's a freaking monster. I think she's got it pretty good too, but if she keeps jumping like this, I'm in deep trouble. Oh, I'm gonna fall out of the boat too. That's a freaking monster. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Look at that thing. Oh my God, and she choked it. That's a 10 XD. That is a 10 XD. The other bite that is stupidly epic is a mag spoon dude when they eat this thing like literally i've had three or four fish knock the piss out of it just doosh doosh and i miss them and then i catch an 11 pounder i should put a link to that video i got an epic video with an 11. i've caught monsters off of not only the mag spoon but also the spoon that i like to throw is a talon spoon you can find it on tackle warehouse i'll put a link to it that's a little smaller i think you call it a casting spoon but especially when i first started learning about some of these lakes like the one we're on this green water central florida deeper lakes like the spoon Spoon was the deal. Uh, the, I don't know why. I mean, there's some big gizzard chat in here, but I think it's more like a water column deal. The up and down. Um, these fish tend to suspend, or they'll go to the bottom, or they'll come up. But they will chase like schools of bait up and down. But dude, the bite on this thing is freaking dumb. Now we're gonna go big. That's them coming up to see what the hell is going on. What's going on up there? You eating something up there? Yeah, yeah, you like that? Oh my God. Jesus, he took the rod out of my hand. Guys, that's a freaking monster. And I have no net, no net. Oh my God. Oh my God, guys. I'll stay on there, honey. Took the rod out of my hand, guys. Come here. When they're on it, there's nothing else you should be throwing. You are gonna lose some fish, dude. One recommendation I do have, when you do hook a fish on any kind of spoon, whether it's a talon or this big one, freaking literally reel down and crank that thing in. Have your buddy grab the net or boat flip that joker. Because the one problem with spoons is fish come off, and they do. Like, I'll be the first to admit it, dude. You get maybe one jump, maybe two jumps, and if you are the luckiest person of one lotto three times, you get three jumps. Otherwise, they're coming off, dude. Like, they just do. It's You have this big honky thing, like, out in front of their mouths, banging on the hook as they go, whoa, 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 whoa. But the bites you get in on it are sick. I throw this thing on 20 pound fluorocarbon because it is such a big bait. But dude, if you have fish that you can see kind of on your sonar that are coming up and doing kind of what we call spaghetti or arches where they're like four or five foot off the bottom, three foot off the bottom, this is the deal. Once again, it's that reaction. You know, you're jerking it up. You're freaking like flicking it a little bit. Somebody's trying to call me to tell me where a spoon bite is right now. <laughs> but dude it, it's a reaction bite but if you guys want to try some some big fish baits and have a good time with it i'm not telling you you're going to catch a lot of fish but the bites you you can get on them are freaking giant try out this is a nickels mag spoon but a talon casting spoon works too check out the bull shad of course the 10 xd or any ultra deep diver 25 plus if you got some deep water to work with 
So, fun video, talking baits, because I love lures. Who doesn't? If you don't like them, you're watching the wrong video. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I gotta get this thing on the trailer and go see Bog. Peace.